Guys, today I'm excited to be showing you these Super EQ S1 wireless active noise cancelling headphones. Now, these headphones are absolutely packed with features. You know what? They won't break the bank. Want to know more? Well, stick around and I'll be right back. Dave here with Seen Through a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, in the box you've got this PVC bag to store your headphones in. You've also got a micro USB cable, shame that wasn't USB-C, but I guess that's just a matter of time. You also get a cable with three and a half millimeter jacks to plug this into an audio source. Yes, some devices still allow you to plug in. You also have this airline adapter. You can use these on a plane. Yes, some airlines still make you use these. And it's like confession time. I did watch a YouTube video on these headphones when I received them. And I couldn't help but laugh as the American guy making the video called this some kind of weird European adapter. Kind of make me smile. And of course, you have the headphones themselves. So first impressions, I like the color of these. These are not gonna be offensive at all when you wear them outside. They're light, the materials are pretty nice, the ear cups are pretty soft, which if you do wear over the ear headphones a lot, you know after a while they can become pretty uncomfortable. But you know what? These feel pretty good. The ear cups also have R and L for right and left of course. And on the right side you have all of your controls. Volume up and down, play, pause, skip forward, skip backwards and that all important noise cancelling on and off. And transparency mode which is an easy to find button as it's all on its own. And last of all, you have that micro USB socket for charging. Now, if you pair these headphones with your phone, you will also be able to make and receive phone calls, which, you know, you kind of expect these days. So as I said earlier, you can plug these into a device using a wired connection or using Bluetooth 5, which should make for a very stable connection at around 30 feet, depending on your surroundings, of course. Now, I'm sure that we can go through all of the specs but with wireless noise cancelling headphones, the most important things to me are sound quality, noise cancelling, whether that being active or passive, and how well it works, and battery life, and of course, the cost. So when you turn these headphones on, you'll hear a voice telling you that they're on. Keep your finger on the button, and you'll go straight into pairing. Again, spoken confirmation of that, as well as other actions like turning ANC on and off, and transparency mode so that's quite a nice touch so having tried these plugged into a high-end home hi-fi system and connected through bluetooth to an iphone and an android device i can tell you now they sound pretty damn good in fact i use these where are they apple airpods pro pretty much all of the time mainly for convenience but and this is a big but for music they're pretty average. And as is with a lot of these types of earbuds, they don't have much in terms of low frequency performance. 
And I don't necessarily mean bass, as I'm not really a fan of heavy bass, but I just mean those kind of warm lows. I've even got a set of these Bose QC20s, which were my absolute go-to earphones for air travel. In fact, they've literally been all over the world with me. And for the same cost as the AirPods, they sound night and day better than the AirPods, but they also lack the low frequencies and that little bit of punch. So I'm gonna stick my neck out and say that these Super EQ S1s give me a nicer sound than the AirPods and probably the QC20s. And both of those cost £249 in the UK, um, which is a lot of money. And these cost less than £50. Yes, less than £50. That is insane. And if you buy them now on Amazon, you can save a further £8. That's insane. And okay, for all you brand freaks out there, these are not Bose Quiet Comforts or AirPods Max. For a fraction of the cost of any of those, I would challenge anyone to say it would be worth paying the extra given the sound quality. Battery life is stated at 45 hours, which is pretty respectful. And I believe it's about 40 hours with cancellation, noise cancellation switched on. Now, I really only wear headphones for editing videos or when I'm traveling. When I do travel, something I've gotten used to is transparency mode. Rather than keep pulling the earphones out or taking them off, transparency mode is pretty damn handy. You can hear everything that's going on around you. And that's also pretty good if you're walking down the street because traffic, people around you, that transparency mode is something really, really useful. And you know what? These Super EQ headphones have that too. And that's good. So guys, these Super EQ S1s definitely get my vote. The only minor point I would say that could be annoying, are these cups don't kind of fold round. So, so if you're wearing them round your neck, as people do, they are gonna choke you a bit. Other than that, no complaints. But my last little nugget of info is, why are these so good and why are they so cheap? in comparison. Well, Super EQ are actually a brand of One Audio, and if you don't know them, they make super high-end and professional headphones. So taking a little bit of what they know and packaging it so everyone can experience their tech was definitely the order of this day. So guys, final thoughts. These are good, and for the money, you really can't go wrong. If you're interested in a pair of these, I will leave a link in the description along with any relevant discount codes. So big thank you to you guys for watching. Big thank you for Super EQ for sending me these to review. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And until then guys, I'm Dave with Sing For A Lens. Please like, subscribe, and yeah, you know the drill. Smash that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. And I'll see you the next time. Bye for now.